Hello friends, this video is created by Sadhar Tupadhyay, founder and creator of Prep Wings. Log on to www.prepwings.com for complete free course videos. In this video, we'll talk about line graph. A sample line graph is shown here. The graph is about a revenue of company X. The X axis of the graph mentions years. Okay, and the y-axis of the graph mentions revenue in million dollars. Okay, so to understand this graph, we will take a typical value and then we'll try to understand what the value means. So for example, we'll take the value which is just above 2010. So in 2010, uh, the revenue of the company was between 400 and 600 million dollars. Okay, so it seems that it is exactly in between 400 and 600. So it will be 500 million then. Okay. So in 2010, the company earned 500 million dollars in revenue. Okay. So this is how we understand a graph. Okay. Now we look at a question for this graph. Okay. The question says that what is the percentage increase in revenue for company X from year 2010 to year 2014? So now revenue for year 2010 was 500 million dollars from the graph and revenue for year 2014 will be 1100 million dollars from the graph. Now we know that the revenue for 2010 is 500 million and revenue for 2014 is 1100 million. So percentage increase in revenue from 2010 to 2014 will be equal to 1100 minus 500 divided by 500 into 100. Okay, so over here we have applied the formula for percentage change. Okay, so now solving this, we get that the percentage increase in revenue from 2010 to 2014 is equal to 120. Okay, now we look at another question. Okay, so we have the same graph in front of us. Now, this question says that. What should be the revenue in 2015 if the percentage change in revenue between year 2011 and year 2012 is equal to the percentage change in revenue between year 2014 and 2015? Okay, so in this question, first we'll have to find the percentage change from 2011 to, to 2012 and apply the same change going ahead from 2014. Okay. So now if you look at it, revenue in year 2011 is 700 million dollars from the graph and revenue for year 2012 is 650 million dollars. So if you look at it, the revenue has declined. Okay, so there is a percentage decrease happening here. Okay. Now we know that revenue for year 2011 is 700 million and revenue for year 2012 is 650 million. Thus the revenue declined. And the percentage decrease from 2011 to 2012 can be calculated using the percentage change formula. Okay, so the percentage decrease in revenue will be 700 minus 650 upon 700 into 200. Okay, so the percentage decrease in revenue from 2011 to 2012 will be 7.14. Thus, there was a decrease of 7.14 percent in revenue from year 2011 to year 2012. Now, revenue in year 2014 is equal to 1100 million dollars. So, revenue in year 2015 should be 7.14 percent less than the revenue in year 2014. Okay, because between 2011 and 2012, there was a percentage decline of 7.14 in the revenue. Okay, so revenue in 2015 will be 1100 into 0.9286 okay which is a decline of 7.14% okay on 1100 okay so that will be 1021.46 million dollars okay thus revenue in year 2015 is 1021.46 million dollars okay so that is all about line graph thanks a lot for watching this video